Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm Erica Hughes. Uh, today we're going to be doing a chaos style Dutch pour. I have a 20 by 16 inch deep edge canvas here and I will go over the colors. So this is this little piggy pigment ore. This is cappuccino by this little piggy. This is carbon black Matisse flow. This is what it looks like here. It's um, These are pretty pricey. They do go a long way, however, because they're so pigmented. Um, but if you, you know, just grab a carbon black laying around if you want to kind of go for the same colors as I'm doing today. And then this is Amsterdam turquoise green, and I've tinted it with um, Amsterdam's titanium white to get this nice, lovely color. So that four colors there. Let me get this off to the side and then we have titanium white by Amsterdam um, if you guys want to see how I mix my pigments and my tube paints check the link in the description box underneath this video and there's a link to how I mix a, it's like a 45 minute mixing video on how I mix my paints and pigments there is a quick uh, really nice actually one of my favorite um, Dutch pours in the begin beginning of the video so you can fast forward it if you want to skip that part and then I go into a lot of detail on how I mix and it's very basic and it's easy and yeah so if you want to mix like I do check out that video okay so let's just dive right in I have this is the 20 by 16 inch I have it taped off and I have some cups taped in case we need to move it around and I don't have to worry about the cups you know lining it back up when I put it down so that's um, a good idea. Just tape some, you know, cups or if you have the big uh, thumbtacks are good or just even the small thumbtacks, whatever. Yeah, you get it. Attach something there. So a lot easier for moving around. Okay. Let's go. Plan. So I'm going to work with it in landscape. And instead of going like portrait style, because I kind of want to do have this to be hanging on somebody's wall. Um, I mean, they can hang it how they want, but I'm kind of going for like a landscape orientation. Okay. So we're going to pour some color down first, blow it around a little bit, and then we'll add our base um, to fill up all the negative space or cover the negative space with paint. So now I'm just going to grab my stick and scrape all that lovely pigment out. So I'm not wasting that. Okay, put that up there, and then let's go for some cappuccino. Make sure we have enough. Same thing, we don't want to waste any paint. Okay, oh, there's some dry paint on the side of that cup. We gotta be careful. Okay, and then some. This is the Matisse Black, Carbon Black. And put that up there. And I do have some other paints mixed up on the side if I need them. Um, but we're just gonna kind of try and work with what we have. Okay. Here's a little tip. There's some air bubbles hanging out on the top of this cup. I'm going to take my torch very carefully and just give it a quick bubble pop. And same with um, the titanium white, just to get them out of the way. 
Okay, and then this gorgeous color. We are going to I don't know how this is going to work out, but we're going to give it a go. Um, I'm going to save some of that as well. Let's get these guys out of the way. So let's really quick. What should I do? Do you know what? I might actually. Actually, let's pop some. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to drizzle some of this titanium white in here and some over here, just a little. Okay, and then we are going to, all right, so I'm going to take my Baby Bliss Travel Hair Dryer, 1200 watt on low heat. I have a low setting and a high setting, no cool shot or anything, but I'm going to put it on low and just blow this around. Well, it'd help if it was on. Okay. Sorry guys, I had to check on the kids. You'll probably hear I'm playing in the background. Okay, these are really pretty. I'm gonna blow in some of this white just to or blow around some of the white. probably wondering kind of like why I do lay the colors down first and then pour the white um, or the base for a few reasons I don't want a whole bunch of white underneath the paint um, I kind of like all the colors being very vibrant and if I want to go for like a softer then yeah I'd like a softer um, you know not so vibrant or whatever I'd go for put the base underneath the colors this also saves me paint I feel so I'm just going to add some, we'll touch up the sides after I'm done completely blowing this out. Okay. And, oh, over here. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, wait, no, can't forget this corner. And let me just get that over there. All right, so let's move that over there. Now I'm just gonna kind of blow and try and give out, out some petals, maybe blow that over. Oh, I forgot this little section. Okay. Oh, you can hear my little guy. He's jumping on the trampoline, so. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. He wants to be out there while I'm doing this. So, Okay, so let's blow around and see what we get.
some air bubbles I'm seeing right now. I just mixed up these paints this morning, so as always, I'm such a kind of last minute Nelly. Okay, the colors are stunning, I think. Okay. Okay, I am so <laughs> loving this, loving this. Um, I just need to take a little second and kind of look and see what we have going on. It is true, it's really pretty. I love all of like the different color combo sections. Like, I love this just like smoky section here. And then I love, oh, okay. Now it's gonna be moving and developing, so um, I think it's really pretty. I don't. I think I might just kind of leave it. Maybe uh, this is a bit of a hard edge, but I'm maybe okay with that. Um, next time, what I'm going to, I actually, I love this, but I want to use these colors again, and I'm gonna do a minimalist um, style, like chaos style, and I'm gonna do that like probably today. So, with these same colors, love the colors. Um, okay, so I gotta think here. Should I leave it? There's the uh, there's a lot of hard edges, but I, I think I might just leave it. So I like it, and let's see, let's see. What I have noticed as well is when the paintings dry, they they actually look better when they're dry. Um, with I don't like totally over flood my colors with Floetrol, so they really just kind of come back to their original state when they um when they're dry and even when they're wet as you can see it's very very like the colors are very strong um i don't put a lot it, it, this does not count or the base coat now like the white there'd be a lot of flow troll in there just to extend that base but with my colors and my pigments i don't add a ton of flow troll where it's just stretching out the pigment and diluting the pigment so i just use that flow troll as you know, just to get the paints, um, just flow ready to add water or, you know, yeah, like flowing, you know, cause when they come out of the tube or the bottle or whatever, I'm going to actually scrape this while I'm talking. When they come out of the tube, your paint tube, they're not flowy at all. So I like to just use that flow trawl to, um, get them in the flow kind of mood if you know what I mean and then add some water but yeah I, d I wouldn't go adding like a whole bunch of flow chops because what you're doing it depends as well like the carbon black by Matisse or your Amsterdam paints yes you'll get away with adding a little bit extra flow draw because they're very highly pigmented paints um, if you're not using highly pigmented paints and you go add a whole bunch of uh, flow trawl into them or or anything really you're going to stretch that pigment out and your colors aren't going to be as vibrant as um, they can be so I just mix it where 
they're ready, they're flowy, they're, you know, they're coming off the stick, but very, like, thick. And then I just add a little bit of water to thin it. Okay, that's just the way I do. Like, um, so this is stunning. I'm, I'm going to leave it. I'm, what I'm going to do is touch them. I got a lot of sides, not crazy amounts. Um, a lot of touching up to do. I'm going to use these, the paints that have fallen down here. I'm going to use those to match up the colors the best I can. Um, and then I'll bring you guys in for a close up. But yeah, like all this paint down here, you can use it to cover your edges, you know, on the deep edge canvas or whatever. But as you can see, I'm not using, like, I'm not wasting or over kind of using my paint. Like I'm being left with very minimal, um, I'll say scrap paint um, on my table here. And you scrape that up and reuse it. Or like I said, by the time I'm done touching up these edges, most of that paint's going to be gone. So I'm not using, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, wasting the paint and the flow troll and all that. And plus I get that USA flow troll shipped over from the States. Um, and it's not cheap for me. Um, it's very, it's very pricey to do. So I am very, very cautious of how much I use and not wasting any of my paint. Um, and even if it was cheap for me to get, I wouldn't, you know, paints are gorgeous and I just like to use all of it up. Okay, so I'm going to fix up my edges, and then I'll take you guys down for a close-up. I hope you guys enjoy this piece. Um, and please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified. I'm really pushing on getting 150,000 subscribers, guys. It um, helps me. And uh, our YouTube, you know, if, you, if you're watching the video and you hit subscribe or you leave me a thumbs up or a comment, YouTube likes that, and then they push your videos and your content to a wider audience and that helps me out because then um, I you know the more people who watch my videos and subscribe um, you know the, the um, ads get run through the videos and then you know I get to earn just a small amount through it you know YouTube AdSense um, and I use that money to buy product and make more videos uh, for you guys and for me because I love making videos and painting it also helps YouTube, um, you know, if you're subscribing and you're watching the ads and you're commenting, engaging, it will, they'll push your videos to a wider, wider audience. So then that at the end of the day helps our community out because fluid art is then getting, you know, reach to people who may have never stumbled upon fluid art. And I could tell by looking at, um, Google Analytics, like uh, their keywords and what's trending, um, that fluid art is definitely on the rise and a lot more on the rise than when I started doing it. And as well as with a lot of younger people, um, it's, you know, it's a growing kind of technique, painting technique, and it's good. It's, um, it's good to get it out there because it does a lot of people use it as you know a way you know as an art form and then as well as um, you know people who are just looking for an escape and something I get a lot of comments um, about you know people use this as a way to fight depression or you know if they're just having a bad day and they need something to escape to I mean for me it has helped me tr personally tremendously with um, you know, anxiety or, you know, just a place to kind of go to, to get out of your head for a minute, because I'll tell you what, when I'm mixing up paint and thinking of other, you know, color combinations, mostly mixing up paint, because I love mixing up paint. I could sit there for hours mixing paint. Um, you're kind of lost or you're, you're not lost in your head. I should say you're for me anyway, it's kind of like I'm almost in a state of nirvana. Like I just, 
you know, my, my headspace kind of calms down there for a minute and it's just a recharge kind of thing. So a lot of people use this art form for, for that exactly. They wouldn't be, um, you know, selling their artwork or, you know, they would just literally be using it for, for that, just for an escape. And I know it's helped a lot of people with depression and, you know, anxiety, like I said. So I think that, in my personal opinion, if we can spread this art form to people who have not seen it or, um, you know, just, you never know, like somebody could stumble upon, like I stumbled upon it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try that. And I tried it and the first time, the first, I should pop a picture up of my first ever pour. Uh, I was hooked immediately, just 100% immediately, and it's completely changed my life, and I love it. So if we can get more people to maybe find something that will help them, happy days. Anyway, I was supposed to just fix my edges <laughs> and put you guys on pause, but um, that didn't happen, so I'll do that now. Be right back. Okay guys, so here we have it. I'm gonna kind of bring you around just so you can get all different angles. Um, I did want to say I love doing the Chaos Dutch Pour. As you can see, there are so many, look at that corner, love it. As you can see, there's so many different differences throughout the painting. Um, you know, it is what it is, like, it is the title, like, it's, there's a lot going on, different things going on, but you're using the same color combination, so you're getting that flow and everything, but, like, you can look at this for, or I can, anyway, I can just look, stare at this for a while and just kind of go over each spot and see different things and different points of interest and all that, so the chaos is... In the title, it's a chaos. It, there's a lot going on, and I love that. You can just look around and see so many different things. Um, and this particular painting, I think, can be hung anyway. That's just me. So you guys let me know what you think. Please try out the color combo. Um, I was actually inspired. This color combo here today was inspired by Nancy Wood. Um, I was having a... Look at her Instagram, and I love how she had that, um, this color here, just kind of hints, you know, a little bit throughout the painting, and, um, yeah, so I was inspired by her color, or her, um, one of her paintings for this specific piece. So let me know what you guys think, and yeah, I'll link Nancy Wood's Instagram down below so you can check her out, amazing artist. Um, let me know what you guys think, and please, if you try this color combo or Chaos Dutch Pour, post in my group. It's um, Acrylic Pour House with Erica Hughes. I'll link, that's already linked below. And let me know how you guys get on. I hope you guys are having a happy Sunday. If you're not, hugs from me. And keep your chin up. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. <laughs> Join us. Join us.
join us. Join us. Won't you join us? <laughs>